In this tutorial, you will learn how to align widgets in a row along the main horizontal axis or along the vertical cross axis. If you want to learn how to align widgets in a column instead, then please watch a previous video lesson in this playlist. All right. So here I have a very simple row widget with three widgets in it. First widget, second widget, and then third widget. To align widgets in a row along the main horizontal axis, we will use main axis alignment property of our row widget. And to specify the alignment value, we will use main axis alignment enumeration. And if I hit dot, there will be a few options to choose from. Let's, for example, align widgets in a row so that they have equal space between them. And to do that, I will scroll down and will choose space between option. Now, if I save the changes to my file and reload my app, I will see that my widgets are aligned in a way that there is an equal space between them. Or we can space our widgets evenly and make an equal space all around widgets. And to do that, we will use a different option that is called space evenly. I will scroll down and choose space evenly like this. Now, if I save my file and reload the app, I'll see that my widgets are now spaced evenly along the main horizontal axis. All right, so play with these values and see how they work in your app. And you can also align widgets in a row vertically. And to do that, we'll need to use the cross axis alignment property. So I'll go back to my row widget and we'll use cross axis alignment property. And to set values, I will use cross axis alignment enum like this. And if I hit dot, there will be options to choose from. Let's, for example, align widgets in a row vertically at the center. So I will choose center option, save my file, and then reload my app. Now, we do not see much difference. And this is because the row does not have background color and the height of the row is also not set. So what I will do, I will first wrap this row in a container widget. To do that, I will select the row and then I'll click on this bulb icon and then we'll choose wrap with container like this. Now I will set container color, let's say blue color, and I will also set height. Let's say 300 pixels like this. Now if I save this file and reload my app, I see that my widgets are aligned vertically at the center of the row. We can try different vertical value. For example, instead of aligning them at the center, I'll choose baseline. Now, if I save this file and reload my app, I see that my widgets are aligned differently in a row. All right, so play with other values. Like for example, instead of baseline, choose end and then save and reload the app. And you'll see that the widgets are now aligned vertically at the end of the row. All right, so now you know how to align widgets in a row horizontally as well as vertically.